and welcome back. I hope you're good and you've had a good couple of days. So what we're doing this week is what is their next move. Um, I've been drawn to more uh, lighter decks today. Deck number one, deck number two. This is the Shadowscapes Tarot and this is the Guardian Tarot. Now this tarot deck, um, the, the Don't Freak Out, <laughs> It's all to do with trees, um, but the trees don't have eyes. So if you're easily spooked, um, you might not like them. But they are, they're one of my favourite decks. Absolutely love them and I haven't used them probably since I moved. So let's go. What are the next moves? Deck number one, deck number two. Let's go. Deck one. So as always, where it's on the strongest mutual energy between you all. Think about your person for me. We're going to take this thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes. And let's look at what are the next moves. I've actually pulled out Melenoma as well. So not just using tarot, using the Lenoma uh, for your reading. And Lenoma work very differently from tarot. Let me just have a go on here. These ones, what are your, their next moves for you? One, Ten of Cups. Two, Ten of Swords. Oh, it's endings, endings and beginnings. Tens and tens everywhere. Page of Cups. Okay, so that's your tarot. So Lenoma uh, are different from Tarot, they are fortune telling cards, they give us very very direct and blunt answers. What are the next moves? Okay, one, two, the man holds the key. Mm -hmm. The woman's communication. Oh, I like it. Okay, so let's have a look at your cards. Lenoma, like I said, they work very, very differently from tarot, and they tell us a bit of a story. Um, but they can give very, very blunt and direct answers. So the first two cards that jumped out of this, and you read it as a cycle, you read it as you're going along. So the key is success and the man. Okay, so the man is holding the key to the success between the two of you. Now with uh, Lenoma and with Tarot, there is always a male and a female energy. It's never sexually orientated or gender specific, so this will be the person that you are thinking about. So they are holding the key to this at the moment. Now, either side, you two are meeting in the middle, okay? So while they hold the key, you're the other side of it, the man and the woman, and we have communication coming in at the end, and the communication will be successful because it goes back in a loop. So if you're worrying or not speaking to them and wanting communication with them, First things first, it's absolutely here. It's there. Okay, so yes, you will be speaking to them. They're probably going to um, express their emotions a little bit for you. Now, the reason why I'm saying that is because we have the page of cups. So when the communication does happen between the two of you, this is someone making an offer to you. This is someone making an offer to you based on love and romance. So they will be communicating their emotions towards you. There might be a little bit of... Uh, childlike behavior with that they might be a little bit um immature but they will be talking to you about their feelings okay really really clear with both decks we've got this communication we've got this talking about emotions coming up and um, now while the cards were saying that your person is holding the key to this um it's almost as if you guys might be waiting for this communication to happen you might be waiting for them to speak to you um with the two of you being really in the middle this is divine partnership a dynamic between you both um which leads to successful talking so and um, whilst they might hold the key you are reciprocating the communication so very strong talking coming through now the other two cards that we got were the ten of cups and ten of swords really interesting that ten ten is coming up so tens let's talk about tens tens is the end of a cycle it is the beginning of a new one so anywhere that your person has perhaps hurt you in the past that's being left behind. Anywhere perhaps that you might feel that they've betrayed you, that is being left behind. Um, it's really stepping away from that stuff, all the icky stickiness, and moving towards a brighter future with the Page of Cups jumping in at the end. Um, the Ten of Cups will talk about, again, the end of a cycle, beginning of a new one, and again, it is romance-based. Okay, so you've got a lot of stuff happening with you guys. You've got a lot of communication coming in, but it's really important that anywhere you guys have been hurt in the past, whether it's in this relationship, whether it's in previous relationships, that you're going to have this open communication, this open talk about it and talk about where you guys can head forward. Where will you be progressing to? What will happen next? That's it. That's really it. 
Um, let me just pull you, I'm just going to pull you three more tarot because uh, it was really short reading but sometimes the tarot are so blunt they just tell you what you need to know. Like that one, victory is assured, two of ones, sun. Okay, so six of ones, two of ones, sun. We've got happy outcomes, we've got successful times, like things working out for you. Um, we've also got the, the thought process behind this. So there's going to be a lot of thinking uh, before speaking your truth. So uh, Spirit is saying that the, the communicating that's done between the two of you will be done with great compassion. That's what they're saying very, very clearly. Um, and it will be kind of solar plexus related. So what will happen with that, they're saying, um, is going to be an increase in confidence in expressing emotions. So if you have been worried how they would take what you're going to say, what they're, get, what they're actually going to say to you, there is going to be an increase in self-confidence as the two of you communicate those feelings and those emotions. And with the sun, you've got your happy outcome at the end of it. So what their next moves are is moving forward, talking to you, open communication, releasing the past and building a relationship. Ta-da! How neat is that? So if you need me, uh, obviously this is a collective reading, so if you need me, drop me a email, mrlovetarot at gmail.com. I am going to the Tarot Conference uh, in London um, from the 7th to the 9th of October, so just bear that in mind um, with regard to readings, but I have got spaces. Okay, that was deck number one. Right, let's do deck number two. So if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, uh, I am Ali, I'm a Claire audience, psychic, medium, but I'm also a high priestess to uh, the Druid pathway, full on uh, Druid priestess. So we're using the tarot today. I've also pulled the Le Lenoma down um, for us because Lenoma aren't like tarot, they give us very blunt and very direct answers. I want to do a blended reading of reading the tarot and the Lenoma for you both. For you both? For you and your person. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to get three cards over here of what your person's next moves are. One. What are their next moves? Two. Three, those two together. Okay, let's get the lemon on that. So what is your person's next moves? Towards you, what are the next moves? Two. Okay. Right. Let's start off with the Lenoma and then I'm going to come up to the Tarot. So you've got these two cards to begin with and we read Lenoma in twos, okay? So you've got the child and you've got the son. So this is talking about over here, new beginnings, okay? Lots of new beginnings that are happening. Um, the son card was is a successful card. It's also feeling better within your emotions. So with you and your person's next moves, you might experience a little bit of childlike behaviour around them. You might experience a little bit of image maturity um but they kind of know what they want from this situation they know what they want from the connection now with this when we look at the tarot over here you've got the eight of cups and four of swords so their childlike behavior they might have took a step back from the situation at this point in time you might not be in contact with them you might be worrying what's actually happening it's almost as if the situation is having a little bit of a breather um, and that being said this is where your energy is sitting um, it's also possible where the two of you are at the moment if you are still in contact that this is soon to come so you might have find that they take a little bit of a step back from the situation as they go into this childlike energy and they have a little bit of a panic once, why are they going to have a panic over it all? Well, they know that they've got to make a choice. They know that they've got to make a decision on this. Um, and with the nine of wands and with the path kind of coming up over here, they've been hurt in the past. They don't like feeling vulnerable. They've got a lot of self-defense up. And when their emotions are staring at you in the face, because the knight of cups is staring at me from the top of the deck, with their emotions, they have this very real feelings for you. And with those real feelings, they haven't got anywhere to hide. They know that you are after a level of commitment from them. And at the moment, they're panicking over it. So you might find, again, this is why you're not talking to them at the moment, or why in the kind of immediate future, they might take a step back from the situation. Now, that being said, with that energy of them, uh, potentially taking that step back. We've got the Knight of Cups, which is movement. And we also have in your Lenoma a ring which shows commitment and the path. So they are working out the path to commitment with you at this moment in time. 
with the Knight of Cups, this is their movement towards you, movement based on love, okay? So right now, they are thinking what to do over the situation. If they've, and also your, your tower over here, Seven of Pentacles. So if they've vanished into the sunset and nothing much has really happened between you both, this is because they are working out what it is that they want at the moment, okay? Working it through, really thinking it through um, and making a headway towards that. Now the path can sometimes be burdensome, okay? So they, they don't really know what direction they want to take. And this is where their childlike behavior can come in. Okay, but it does look like even though they might take a step back for the time being, they're going to come back towards you um, and give you a commitment of potentially new beginnings with them. It's just that it's a bit, it, it's, it's almost as if it's got to go backwards to go forwards. Like it's going to kind of go a little bit stagnant or a bit quiet and then it'll take that progression route forward with you. So it's likely that they're gonna have a panic, a freak out, a panic that their emotions are really, really deep for you and they don't know what to do about it. So they freak out and they take a step back. Um, but with the Knight of Cups, he is forward facing, he is moving towards you and he is seeing your dreams and goals and aspirations um, flying free and really wanting to make those moves towards you, okay? so their next moves are potentially taking a step back to move forward with you um let's just ask the tarot anything else i need to know about their next moves for you um spirit saying really clearly that they might come in with a more family orientated focus so when they do come back towards you they might say to you that they want to build a life with you they want to build the family with you they want to build a connection and have everything the, the kids the white picket fence the dogs the cats the whole caboodle um and they will be focusing on a romantic new beginning with the Ace of Cups flying out over there. So Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, okay, focusing on a new beginning with you. Um, we've got the Sun coming up at the end, which is really interesting because you also got the Sun in Lenoma. So you've got two double whammies over here um, of your happy outcomes, your success being in charge of your emotions. Okay, um, so that's progressing forward. The only other card that's jumping out, which we need an awareness of, is the Seven of Wands. So you might find they're a little bit self-defensive. There might also be jealousy surrounding them. So if they feel like when they go quiet on you, that you're moving on and moving forward, that will be the main indicator for them to reach out to get back in touch with you. So they might be stalking you on social media, seeing pictures of you and thinking, my, my, you're mighty fit. And that will be an indicator for them to reach out and message you. Ta-da! So their next moves, going backwards to go forwards. And that's that number two. So super, super fast readings for you today. Um, if you need me, drop me a message, mrlovetaro at gmail.com. Email readings are 24 to 48 hour turnaround. And I have spaces for video readings as well. I love you all to pieces. I'll speak to you soon. And many, many blessings your way for the super speedy reading today. Ciao, guys.